It's my great pleasure on behalf of the committee to present to Eve Martyr of Brandeis University the 2019 NAS Award in the Neurosciences. Eve is great. Eve is unique. The committee decided that she has no scientific twin, meaning that her work in the neurosciences really is entirely original. You can't find anybody else working in this area. Her discovery that the nervous system can adapt to environmental insults and stress by homeostatic regulation of ion channels is both profound and influential. She's also been a leader in helping young scientists think about how to do science and how to think about science. So for her body of work that has transformed the perception of neuronal circuits, as static structures well described by connectivity diagrams to our current understanding of microcircuits as flexible and dynamic entities that efficiently balance the needs for plasticity and stability, I present to you Eve Martyr. So I'd like to thank um, the selection committee, but most importantly, I'd like to thank the many, many thousands of lobsters and crabs that have <laughs> sacrificed their lives to science. Now, you might think this is funny, but I'm really dead serious because every time we got stuck, I would always tell my students and postdocs to go ask the crab or go ask the lobster. And I think there's something very profound in knowing that there are secrets of the universe and secrets of life that animals know and it's our job to find. Now, before leaving you, I do want to thank my um, graduate and postdoc um, advisors, Alan Silverston, David Barker, and Jack Sukio, who all three of them had enough sense to stay out of my way. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's true. They were really quite remarkable. They gave me all, all the rope and all the, the time to do what I wanted. And then, of course, everything wonderful I ever have ever done in the lab is because I had really, really talented, creative, and innovative graduate students and postdocs. And everything new came from one of them. And then finally, I would like to thank my wonderful husband, Arthur Wingfield, who's a cognitive neuroscientist, who not only is a saint, but additionally, I think he really taught me how to write. And so I would like to thank him for all the, the early work he, he gave me in trying to learn how to craft a really good manuscript. So thank you.